Welcome to Tempe. Uh, for those of you who you know, didn't feel sufficiently welcomed in the first uh, hour and a half of discussions, um, I would like to say thank you uh, to our, particularly to our hosts. Uh, Violet is standing over there um, on the edge. And we've had a very smooth um, Gini Regional workshop yesterday. For those who were here, I hope you enjoyed that. For, for those who weren't, uh, it, it was great. Uh, the facilities here have been great. And I particularly, I didn't realize until I walked here just how many signs have been driven into the rock hard ground of Tempe, Arizona by, <laughs> by the, the, the volunteer team. So could we have a, a round of applause, not just for the signs, but for all the. <laughs> Um, I'd also like to thank our uh, sponsors, uh, Sienna and Matrix, uh, both for the support and uh, specifically for the uh, drink tickets in the back of your uh, little uh, lanyard packets there. And also everybody who's here um, speaking, uh, running demos, and otherwise participating. These are the other speakers uh, this session. So as you can see, we've got a, a jam-packed uh, hour. I'm going to try to go very quickly uh, through really just some background that I hope most of you know already, but let's do it. Sandeep apparently is, did not see the signs, uh, so he, he'll, he'll be catching up with us in a minute. I'm going to talk first, and he'll, he'll come, uh, come after. So I want to set a bit of perspective about what we're trying to do in the next day and a half uh, here at GEC. Remember, we're refocusing GECs on engineering and planning Genie specifically, and I want people to be thinking in the long view. So, you know, you are here. It is March of 2016. And there are at least three different time periods you should be thinking about. So the first thing you should be thinking about is what we're doing in the next two years. And in the next two years, we're making sure that what we've all been working on together is a coherent whole that we begin to move the activities for supporting and sustaining Genie and keeping its research dynamic out of the center at the BBN managed Genie project office and into a community managed environment. And we're looking at how we accomplish that transition. We're not making that transition in the next two years, we're, we're, we're planning it and preparing for it so that we can do that in 2017, at the end of 2017. In an hour, we're gonna talk about some of the specifics about the, some specific activities that are currently being performed at the Gini Project Office and how those move uh, into other organizations. The very summarized version is, is here, but I, I won't read it aloud to you because it's, it's tedious. Uh, to do that now, and we're going to have some, some real details uh, in an hour or so. But the main point here is that nearly all of these bars have arrows out on the right. You know, these activities are continuing, and those that don't are things where the GD project office is finishing up uh, our specific development effort and transitioning that to another organization. So we are planning for keeping Genie up, running, and dynamic well beyond the year and a half period that we're planning for immediately. So here's the second period we want to be thinking about. What is Genie sort of in the, in the three years or so post-2017? You know, one is it's the test bed that you've all come to know and love uh, under new management. OK, fine. But really, the, the most important thing that people should be focusing on is that the, both the physical infrastructure and the underlying technology, the basic genie concepts, are going to be increasingly prominent in new cyber infrastructure programs that are being conceived now and started in this sort of time period. Okay. We'll be discussing how this transition happens into a, a new oversight structure. Uh, at the long-term planning session this afternoon at 3.30. Thinking beyond that period, we want to talk about what, what are the new cyber infrastructure research efforts that are coming and 
how does Gini and how does uh, Giordini concepts uh, play in those? There's been a recent, uh, it's not quite done, right, Chip, but darn close. Um, so uh, there's a, a recent set of uh, workshops and a program called, a uh, mini program called Looking Beyond the Internet. The goal here is to define some of the new cyber infrastructure research programs coming out of NSF size. And Chip Elliott will give an update on this in about 25 minutes. So just trying to get the perspective on these very different time frames. For people who grew used to the model of everything happening at uh, the Gini Engineering Conferences, we've changed that model a little bit, and this is really a reminder. The Gini Engineering Conferences were getting a little bit overloaded with three different activities, you know, introducing people to Gini, giving people an opportunity to show how they're using Gini, and doing the engineering and design for how we're building Gini. So we've basically broken that out into three different kinds of events. The learning genie component now happens in genie wor regional workshops. We had, we've had three so far. The latest one was uh, yesterday. And I'm you know, both sorry and delighted uh, to say that our, our limit of 80 was oversubscribed. We actually had to put people on a waiting list. Um, this tells me that our model of having three or four of these a year is good. Uh, we need to have more. Uh, Violet and Ibrahim are both here, and they are organizing uh, the ongoing series of regional workshops. If you are interested, um, I invite you to contact uh, either of them or contact us at the Genie Project Office. But this is a, an excellent model for introducing uh, newcomers to Genie. Uh, for those of you who are in San Francisco for Genie Nice in November, uh, we've decided to use a model of glomming on to existing uh, community conferences as the right place to show off our work with Genie. Although we couldn't quite write uh, Demo Night out of the GECs, it was just too much part of our DNA. So we're continuing to have uh, Demo Night in the GECs, but the emphasis on GECs is back on the engineering part. How are we building Genie? How are we making it uh, sustainable and better? <coughs> A few things that are coming up that you should write down in your calendar. Um, tutorials, Wireless at Virginia Tech, uh, June 1 to 3. You still have a chance to sign up for this one, uh, or others do. You probably don't need it. Uh, and this is now uh, in the past, uh, but that's a, a picture of uh, Jay Acat uh, giving a tutorial at uh, SIGC last week. Uh, CNERT, which you uh, may know as the GREE series of workshops, is now uh, onto its third uh, edition. That will be April 1st in San Francisco uh, in conjunction with Infocom. Uh, we had a, a good set of papers uh, this time. It was, it's looking like a very nice workshop. And that's you know, taken off very nicely over the past few years. Upcoming paper deadline. Paper registration, March 11th, which is coincidentally Friday. Um, I think that a large number of people who are giving demonstrations here should be looking at uh, ITC in Würzburg as an opportunity to uh, put in a paper to go with your demo. They're experimenting with uh, a new format, which is a, a actual either full or short, uh, full length or short papers, uh, but the presentation style is demo uh, rather than slides. Uh, if you're looking for a more traditional uh, version, uh, Rick McGear reminds me that uh, DCC is in Chicago in, what's the date, Rick? In June, uh, and has coincidentally the same deadlines. So registration uh, this Friday, papers due the following Friday. So there are a couple of opportunities. I'd love to see the Genie community well represented at both of these. I'm gonna skip slides, but I always have to put up this one. Um, slightly over 6,500 uh, researchers and educators and students now using Genie, and I just keep having to change the scale on this graph, which brings me endless joy. Uh, there's a bounty for people who can bring in somebody from Wyoming, <laughs> Mississippi, New Hampshire, strangely. 
or the seventh continent, which frankly makes me so angry we don't even put it on the map. <laughs> uh, yeah, Vaughn wants to go to Antarctica. No, it has to be someone who's actually there. <laughs>